Um, I have a quick thank you. Um, as I talked about these last couple of weeks, uh, one in three moms uh, has to choose between food and diapers. And I'm proud to say that thanks to a number of Des Plaines residents, uh, that's not the case in Des Plaines. Um, Des Plaines residents have been incredibly generous over this last 30 days. And we've actually collected as of today, 6,294 diapers. Um, we were gonna bring them down here to show you, um, but it is just too many. Um, and we're gonna throw a picture up on the board. Um, so I wanna give a special thank you to um, the Chamber of Commerce, who was a collection site, Prairie Lakes, who was a collection site, um, and a special thank you to the um, Des Plaines Public Library, uh, because they were by far the biggest diaper collector, um, even, even more than the mayor's office. So thank you very much to the people in the library. Um, and uh, the Salvation Armies, uh, Breakfast with Baby program started in 2011. They've given up up to 45,000 uh, diapers away every year. Um, so this 6,000 um, will will certainly help. Um, and I want to extend a special thank you to um, a number of larger contributors who gave some of some as many as a, one or two as many as a thousand diapers. Um, but then a number of people a pack or two. Um, it'll definitely go a long way. Um, so in addition to the Salvation Army for help, uh, you know, collecting these out of the mayor's office eventually. Um, and for this button, I just wanted to give you an opportunity to let folks at home know um, a little bit more about the program, yeah. um, breakfast with baby, and if there is uh, any other demand or desire, where can they drop off uh, diapers for, for moms in need? Definitely, and thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to thank you. Um, like he said, uh, a lot of people have the misconception that a welfare helps provide diapers, like it would um, formula for babies, but it doesn't. WIC does not provide. You cannot um, buy diapers with SNAP, with food stamps. And so you, that's leaving, as the statistics say, one out of three mothers looking for a way to try and diaper their child, which is just unacceptable. And so five years ago, Cheryl Hagedorn, who we want to thank, and Luann McMillan, um, came up with this idea of breakfast with babies that provides diapers once a month uh, through the Salvation Army. That's the second Saturday of every month. So the second Saturday of every month, beginning at 8 a.m., 8 a.m., we invite parents, um, mothers, fathers with um, who are either mothers who are pregnant or um, have uh, young babies to come and receive diapers, wipes, and gently use clothing, any kind of goods. And so we are um, also petitioning for anybody in the city who, you know, their kids have outgrown their clothes and you want to drop those off at our location, 609 West Dempster. So we're right in Des Plaines, right off of Dempster. We take any of those donations and they go to a great cause. Um, and we're also looking volunteers as well uh, to help um, pass out those, those items to the parents. Um, so second Saturday of every month, we'll, we'll take volunteers, we'll take help, and we'll continue to take diapers. Um, 6,000 diapers, that's, that's two months worth. Um, 124 families represented there. And this is by far our largest donation that we've received with the Salvation Army in five years. So we're just greatly appreciative. I know you understand, I've diapered four boys. And um, I've diapered so- Diapered one girl for three months, and I can't woo! even imagine. So I know, I I'm, I've got a two-year-old, it's almost out. So I'm praising the Lord for, for trying to get rid of, <laughs> rid of those diapers. But um, just thank you again and for everyone that's contributed. The Salvation Army is just um, thrilled to be able to work with our community in the way that you support us so that we can, once again, give out to those in need and meet our mission. So thank you and God bless. Thank you very much. Alderman Hogberg. I have a question I think you might have a question. I have a question. Is this something that the Salvation Army does nationally? Actually, actually, no. Um, we had gotten the idea there was another church in Michigan that had started something similar. And Cheryl had this idea, and we were like, all right, roll with it. And so this is a, a Des Plaines initiative. Um, but it has spread. There are now, well, beginning in April or next month, we will have three other churches who will join with us in the same date so that more families um, can, can participate. But three other churches, um, Good Shepherd, The Bridge, and a new church will be starting. And, um, and so they also do the same, same program. Um, but once again, there's, there's no diaper banks around here. Um, downtown Chicago has one, and they run out. Uh, so it's, it's a huge, huge need. But even as far as the clothing, too. Right. No. So um, obviously we have thrift you know, stores, but those are sold to help support the ARC. But um, I'm part of the community center um, in Des Plaines. So no, it's a donation of clothes, books, toys, baby items. Um, we, we really take it all, and then we give it right back out. 
Oh, okay. So like baby clothes, you do give up. We do. We don't, we don't charge at our location. It's donated right back. Um, moms can come and they shop. So they get to go around and with, for no fee, we serve them breakfast. We also watch their children so that they can do that with, you know, with both arms instead of just one. And um, so we do children's program at the same time. And then the, the parents can go and they get diapers, um, roughly about 50 each time, because that's the, the national average that people need or what they don't have. And, um, and then they get to choose, they get to shop and pick uh, so many items for each of their kids. And, and other things. So it's all free to, to those families. It's a very nice program. I wish they had that across the country. I know, I agree. My daughter with her triplets, oh my they're growing like weeds. Yeah. And, you know, as far as clothing and everything else, yeah. and she's, you know, always finding places to take it, so. No, yeah. And a lot of the mothers then, they come back and they donate the clothes right back to us. They've used them, they've outgrown, and they give them right back to help somebody else. We haven't had triplets yet. We've had several sets of twins, but no triplets yet. But thank you. Thank you. Ms. Alderman Hagerberg, I don't think every other community has a Cheryl, so maybe we just give her a quick round of applause for starting yes. the program. <laughs> Alderman Berkman. Yes, I just wanted to add my thanks to Cheryl Hagedorn. She lives in the Fifth Ward, and I've talked to her about uh, this before, and she's doing a great job. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Cheryl. And it's an Eighth Ward neighbor, so take, take good care of your Salvation Army, Mike.